Now, how did the molecules of life arise? In a laboratory at Cornell University, we mix together the gases and waters of the primitive Earth, supply some energy, and see if we can make the stuff of life. But what was the early atmosphere made of? Ordinary air? If we start with our present atmosphere, the experiment is a dismal failure. Instead of making proteins and nucleic acids, all we make is smog, a backward step. Why doesn't such an experiment work? Because the air of today contains molecular oxygen. But oxygen is made by plants. It's pretty obvious that there were no plants before the origin of life. We mustn't use oxygen in our experiments because there wasn't any oxygen in the early atmosphere. This is perfectly reasonable because the cosmos is made mostly of hydrogen, which gobbles oxygen up. The Earth's low gravity has allowed most of our original hydrogen gas to trickle away to space. There's almost none left. But four billion years ago, our atmosphere was full of hydrogen-rich gases, methane, ammonia, water vapor. These are the gases we should use. Taking great care to ensure the purity of these gases, my colleague, Bishan Kari, pumps them from their holding flasks. An experiment like this was first performed by Stanley Miller and Harold Urey in the 1950s. Starting gases are now introduced into a large reaction vessel. We could shine ultraviolet light on this mixture, simulating the early sun. But in this experiment, the gases will be sparked, as the primitive atmosphere was, by early lightning. After only a few hours, the interior of the reaction vessel becomes streaked with a strange brown pigment, a rich collection of complex organic molecules, including the building blocks of the proteins and the nucleic acids. Under the right conditions, these building blocks assemble themselves into molecules resembling little proteins and little nucleic acids. These nucleic acids can even make identical copies of themselves. In this vessel are the notes of the music of life, although not yet the music itself. Now, no one so far has mixed together the gases and waters of the primitive Earth and at the end of the experiment had something crawl out of the flask, there's still a great deal to be understood about the origin of life, including the origin of the genetic code. But we've only been at such experiments for 30 years. Nature has had a four billion year head start. Incidentally, there's nothing in such experiments that's unique to the Earth. The gases we start with, the energy sources we use, are entirely common through the cosmos. So chemical reactions, something like these, must be responsible for the organic matter in interstellar space and the amino acids in the meteorites. Similar chemical reactions must have occurred on a billion other worlds.
in the Milky Way galaxy. Look how easy it is to make great globs of this stuff. The molecules of life fill the cosmos.